My name's Anthony Scala. Uh, I'm a glass artist based at London Glass Blowing, which was founded by Peter Layton. My specialist field is cold working, so all of the stuff that happens to the glass once it's cooled down, all of the cutting, the faceting, the polishing, the laminating, all of that is, is my, my chosen field. So the studio, you can really describe in theatrical terms. You know, the hot shop is the stage. It's where the audience attention is focused. Um, it's the source of the magic, really. You know, that is the performance. That is what people are interested in seeing. And you have the fire and the action and the drama, the heat and the smoke. And, you know, of course, that, that is what really interests people. It's what excites people. It, it, it always has. The cold shop and the cold working side of things, in many ways, it's backstage. All of the techniques that happen in the cold working stage are the equivalent to the lighting, the sound, moving bits of set around. It's stuff that the audience never sees, but in many ways is as important, if not more important, than what happens you know, in front of the audience. You know, without that, there is there is no product. My work is quite geometric. Uh, there's a lot of maths involved. Um, my, my initial training was actually in architectural model making. I'm trying to see if there are any, any imperfections near the top surface. This seems, seems to be pretty clean actually, so I think that's where the first face is, go the first cut is going to be. You know, this is this is quite a diff different way for me to work. I used to do this, you know, extremely accurately. I would never have dreamt of just sketching onto a piece of glass. And I think it gets to a point where you know you've been working in a certain way for so long that you can begin to pull back from that very strict discipline. It takes you know a decade plus to be able to really, really understand understand an art form. The work that I'm doing at the moment uh, is a new body of work that's based on natural crystal formations. And for me, uh, crystals are the, the ultimate building blocks. You know, when you look at a, a beautifully formed crystalline structure, it looks so perfect in a way. But you know, when you get down to you know, examining it under, under magnification, those beautiful crystal structures are actually pieced together out of crystalline building blocks that fit together perfectly, you know, in, in complete harmony. And that really, you know, that, that inspires me a lot. Now I have to take it away, regrind each one of these facets five times using finer and finer stages of aluminium oxide powder and then optically polish it. So once it's finished, it should be ready to exhibit at Collect.